Welcome back to Some Zest. I'm Dave Arnie, and we're going to be sitting together. Why, why is the music stopped? There we go. I, 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 I muted everything, that's why. Um, <laughs> as we continue on with this sort of um, weird basketball fish level, is what I'm going to call it. You know, I did it just this recently. I've immediately forgotten what to do. I didn't realise it was how close you were to the blowfish, which determines um, your launch distance. I feel like I should have realised this much earlier, but apparently I didn't. But it's made it much more consistent now. Oh, I dashed a bit too early there, so I didn't have enough momentum to go over the top. Um, yeah, what do I want to talk about? I don't know. What should I talk about? What have I been up to? It's more of an Animal Crossing topic and everything, because by the time that this gets uploaded, it's going to be like, oh, that's like a month ago. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm drawing the, the Little Nightmares, um... Fab Night Art right now. I've well, I've actually done the line art and all that stuff, and most of the colours I'm just doing the, the background. I just haven't shaded either yet because shading is shading and rendering it takes time. And you know, it, it's a thing I see people who are like um people's least favourite part normally of drawing seems to be the inking process, which is it's not my favourite part, but I don't hate it nearly as much as definitely like the top two probably. I think sketching is always everyone's favourite or the ideation phase. That sort of thing when inking, you know. A lot of people hate it, I guess, because it's mindless work, you know. And at least shading and rendering kind of feels rewarding and that sort of thing. But shading and rendering, I think, is just <laughs> annoyingly tedious sometimes, depending on how many light sources and things you've got going on and what sort of shading you're going for, which is kind of why I like. I prefer cell shading, but I... <laughs> obviously I like the look of a fully rendered thing a lot more. But I try and match, you know, the style of whatever's. No! Oh, that was so close. I had to be faster. Amusingly. Try and match whatever art style it's... <laughs> okay. Is it? If I just... Hold on. I don't know what's... Okay, yeah, so... It is if I hold... If I hold upwards, it just jumps upwards. Okay, that's just... Me messing around and fading with uh, the directional inputs once again, which, you know, what's new, I suppose. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa. How long has there been a wall there? <laughs> has that wall always been there? Well, I guess we can use a wall. That makes it significantly easier, actually. I don't know why I dashed in my direction, don't even ask me. My, my brain wasn't thinking. It just subconsciously went for it and, you know, I've got to give it because it, it went for it again. What are you doing? You know that's the direction you don't want to go. I see. I thought we were meant to climb onto the spring again and get it and do it. A lot of these walls just blend into the background for me. Okay, well, let's figure out what we're doing here. Jellyfish goes over as we basically sort of figure out how to survive until we reconvene with it here with a jellyfish jump. What on earth? That is a really high crystal. And then we do a double jellyfish jump up at the end. And then we reach the end. Oh, I didn't know we were on the final screen. So I guess that's probably not what you do, huh? <laughs> oh weird how how <laughs> okay so we know how to make it there How on earth do we take this? Oh, we go back to the spring. It resets our jump and it launches us probably about to here. And then we just do one final jellyfish jump. I see. That's what the, the crystal was there for. We had to do a double dash. Well, maybe not a double dash backwards, but we had to do at least a singular dash backwards. Oh, I forgot we can double dash there. I forgot we can double dash there. That's how we actually get across. When we fall onto the spring, we go whoop. 
Boing. <laughs> I didn't touch. Oh, so close. At least we know we can do it. That's the important part. Is actually being able to do it in the first place, you know? Of course, the execution is difficult, but if it feels manageable, plausible, then that is a far more... I definitely dashed there. I don't know what happened. Okay, that, that was just not the regular timing, so I kind of confused myself. We just casually fall. Just grab this. It's <laughs> pretty close. Get a lot of height. I dashed the wrong way, to be honest. Oh, that's not, that's not how you do this. This is a really cool one. Certainly one of my favourite parts of this level. But the old, the old jellyfish variety having to backtrack a bit is quite creative as well. Just gotta make sure you don't die and then you go for a big jellyfish jump. To finally make it to the end without jellyfish anymore and boom! We did it! Farewell. A farewell to arms. Empty space. His old granny's gone. It's a bit glitchy. Hello, crow. I guess we're not done? Wait, no. This can't be the end. I reject your end. Okay, never mind. I guess we're not done. Granny's still out there somewhere. You have to move on, which means I need to keep going. Everything comes to an end, eventually. What was that? Excuse me? Hello, Granny. That's not how you do this. <laughs> so, reality is breaking slightly. There's a bit of a black hole. Mind you, looming. Crystal heart? Got him. Don't you even worry about that. That can't stop me. There's nice little animations going down there. The Matrix breaking. Internet cafe. Weird. What's going on here? Wave dash... PowerPoint. Oh, so this is a tutorial. Wave dashing and you. A practical solution for catching birds in space. Alright. Look at that PowerPoint transition. Can't catch that bird? Fact. Birds are hard to catch. That's a good fact. Wow, it's fast. Also, it can fly. And part of you won't help. She's the worst. Impossible? <laughs> Introducing wave dashing. What? With wave dashing, you can jump very far and regain your dash at the same time. Alright. It's easy, quote quote. How it's done. Jump. Jump, dash into the ground at an angle. I see. So it's sort of like corner jumping. <laughs> Transform ice. Dash diagonally down to the ground. Immediately jump again and hold forward. You did it. Go you. Turbulent in paradise. If you don't regain your dash, you're starting too low to the ground. If you don't get much distance, you're starting too far from the ground. I see, okay. Happy wave dashing! Well, that's going to be um, difficult to implement, I think. Like that. Okay. <laughs> this is this is gonna be tough. Whoa, okay. I see, okay. Wait, let's practice let's practice this a few more times, you know. There's not gonna be many opportunities where we get a nice little tutorial thing behind us showing us exactly how to do it. What am I doing wrong here? I'm not holding forward. I see. Okay, well, Hopefully we got that down. If we don't, then... What? <laughs> I don't know why we need a tutorial for this one. This one seems like a, just like a, a normal level. Oh, no, we had to do the wall kick. I forgot about the wall kick. I forgot that was like an, an ability that we learned to use. Oh my god, this is going to be so annoying. 
a double war dash. I'm not even pressing the right direction. Okay, that, that time I didn't hold forward, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well we got one down. <laughs> we just missed, missed the platform there amusingly. Okay, that one we started too low to the ground because we didn't get our dash back, right? <laughs> Wait, do we have to immediately go into a wall jump at the end there? Where to go immediately into a wall jump? A wall kick, sorry. I didn't even dash there. That, that time I just dashed in the wrong direction. Oh, it's because I'm holding down dash afterwards for no apparent reason. So I can't press it, like, again. I don't know how we still managed to dash that despite the fact we didn't have our dash. I'm, I'm holding down dash. Stop holding down dash. This is so difficult. It's an interesting mechanic though. I'm, I wonder if we're going to need it in the seasides. I'm absolutely going to forget how to do this in the future though. We're doing this one to... The second one to... um too late because we're not getting our dash back, aren't we? That time we didn't even get our dash in the first place. This is... <laughs> very tough. I didn't expect we'd have such advanced mechanics in this game, but, you know. I guess it shouldn't be surprised if a precision platformer has tough mechanics like this, you know. I feel like we're not getting enough vertical height. Maybe we should actually follow the silhouette, huh? Dalema, Dalema. Casilueto. I. D what is it about me that I cannot hold the right direction down when, when dashing? <laughs> oh, I got the double dash off there. We did it again, but. Of course, we're not getting quite enough height. Not height, sorry. We're, n we're not resetting our dash on the second one because we're not doing it from high up enough. <laughs> was this an intended mechanic? Or was this like an accidental mechanic? Which, Because I believe this level, I read some of this, was like a DLC level, which came out in a later update. It was This must have been like a mechanic which was discovered accidentally by the community and they just sort of embraced it into harder platforming things, right? Otherwise, this is such a weird thing to program programmatically include or perhaps it was just like it was like a, a bug and what happened in the movement system they were just like this is pretty cool you know why don't we keep it in and then you know we were like let's make some super hard levels based off it yeah super hard levels yeah remember it, yeah <laughs> it's so hard <laughs> My word. Something about the second dash. I, I can't seem to do it at the, the correct timing to actually get the dash again, and I don't know why. <laughs> this is <laughs> one nuisance. In a good way, in a good way, in the most loving way possible. What if we just uh, made it anyway, huh? What would you think about that? Alright. <laughs> Just uh, okay. Come on, you can do this. Something about the second. I'm not doing it from high enough over here. Interestingly, because you see, I'm, I I don't have my dash. Oh. Yeah, it's actually, you know, I've been blaming the second one. I think it's my first one. I'm not setting myself up properly. That time we did it, but again. That was too high up, too late. Oh. 
I'm f f full on concentrating now. Which makes it rather difficult. Oof. This is going to get real tough. <laughs> I can tell you right now. This new dashing mechanicism. Sorry, wave dashing. It has a name and everything. I don't need to, like, pretend it doesn't for some reason. It's going to be very finicky to get quite right. You don't need to be that high up actually off the ground to get that dash. I can't tell when they're dashing. Let's, let's see when the ghost dashes. I feel like they they dash at a similar location that I do, but somehow they get the, the dash reset and I don't. And I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, that time I just didn't dash in the right correct direction. That time I just missed the platform. No, no more banter, obviously, in Celeste. It's too hard to talk and think about doing this at the same time. <laughs> it's TV screen, though. Symbolic. Maybe I am actually getting my dash back, but I'm just dashing and doing the jumping correctly off the second one. That one felt like a good one, except I dashed in the wrong direction. Oh my word. Maybe it's a. I'm not doing that second dash. No, that can't be right because I need my. I need another dash here. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to dash upwards in the first place. Up. What? Why? Why don't I get my dash back? What am I doing? I mean, I. I know what the game says. I'm doing it too. I'm doing it too late. I'm doing it too close to the ground. I need to do it higher to the ground. But I feel like I, I don't have quite enough height to make it cross, which means that I'm not setting myself up well enough in this part to get a good horizontal distance. Which means perhaps I'm jumping too far away from the ground at this point. This is... That felt, that felt good, you know. Unsurprisingly, when I copied exactly where the shadow went. It felt pretty good. Help me, shadow. Help me. I'll say, it does look like that little platform in the middle has got like a shocked face on. Look at it, it looks like a surprise Pikachu and everything. Seems like something I'd be in Fez, to be honest. Okay, that was obviously too close to the ground. There's a real sweet spot which you really have to aim for. And it's not there. I must be dashing way too late. In fact, I can jump. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. That felt like it was pretty good. But alas, in the sea of stars, it's easy to get lost among them. If you're not too careful. City of stars. That felt pretty good. I don't, I don't know. I, what am I doing wrong? This is incredibly difficult. But alright, we've got a lot of time. My thumb hurts, I'm not going to lie. I'm pressing down this joystick. <laughs> Stick so aggressively. <gasps> Wait. I have no idea how, but I did it then. I didn't even think I had it, which was a weird part. I thought it was a silhouette, but no, that was me. <gasps> I did it again. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I guess subconsciously I'm, I'm getting it. I think it's because I'm... I don't know. <laughs> it's because I'm dashing earlier. I had it there again, but I just... i got to get him into that habit of at least dashing at the end here. So when I do have an extra dash, I can at least have an attempt at the wall kick. Even if I don't have a dash ready. Oh my word. This is very difficult, I must say. Part of it is just 
you know, directional inputs, and part of it is the, the intense mechanical skill required with this sort of thing. You think about it, speedrunners must have to do this like over and over and over again to like zoom through levels or something, right? The amount of precision it requires. <gasps> oh, close. I need to dash vertically upwards, right? I need to dash vertically upwards, okay. See, just build that habit of that vertical dash up. That's not vertical, come on. Even if you don't have a dash prepared. Just so you can get it ready when you need need it. I wonder how many more like levels there are after this part. It must get so much harder. That felt like a good one. I have no idea what made that one so good, but it just was. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. It's so close. It's so close. I can almost taste it. Oh, that was that was just way too early a vertical dash. It's got to be a very last second sort of vertical dash here, which is the hard part. And if I had that momentum, if I just, if I had a dash, maybe I'd find a way. Okay, that one, clearly not enough vertical momentum. That one had it, but, you know, I did it too late. Which resulted in me not having the dash. I'm just sort of sounding like a broken record now. Just being like, oh, this is a mistake I did. It's easy to point out, not easy to um, execute on. That one was definitely way too late. Oh, I dashed too early. I wonder if it counts as holding forward if I just can't hold vertically down to the bottom right. So then I wouldn't have to do the switch, but now, unfortunately, I've got the muscle memory of, a, of a switching directions in my, in my hands now. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit difficult to... Oh, too early again, too early again. But that was it. I felt it now. I, I feel like I can, I, can, I can see the bounce in my, in my head. I just can't translate it directly to my fingers. That was just a pitiful attempt after all these. That's one. This is when I'm too high up, isn't it? <clears throat> oh my god, that was just terrible. I've lost it now. I've lost it. Hold on, reset. Oh. That's all you need, just a quick reset, that's not how you do it. You need to do it at like one mad line's height. That time I think I actually missed a platform. Which made it rather difficult, mind you, to get any purchase on it. Imagine this is what you... Oh, <laughs> I just forgot what to do. Imagine you just like sit out to climb a mountain and this is what you end up doing just on the mountain. Imagine if you're doing this up Mount Everest. This is probably the most hilarious visual I can think of. Alright, you know what, just just stop. You re you really gotta to gotta to get a good sense of gotta to gotta to get your head in the game, I can't speak. Gotta get a good sense of rhythm to bounce past this sort of thing. Otherwise it really sort of dooms you to fail, doesn't it? If only there was like little notches in my joystick of like the eight directions, but unfortunately the steam the steam controller is just like round all the way through. So you can very easily slip off into the wrong direction if you're not careful. <laughs> what? Which I'm doing quite a lot if you can tell. I just didn't even jump it. Oh, 
I can't I can't do it anymore. My my, my brain has stopped. This is, this is going to be a good stopping, good wall for me to climb over, quite literally, in a metaphorical sense and a physical sense, because, oh my god, I just thought about it at some point. If there's two water wave dashes here, there's going to be, absolutely, there's going to be a level where you have to do like three of them in a row or something. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. Unless you're a speedrunner, in which case you're just like, oh, easy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You can do it, come on. I can do it. I can break these cuffs. You can break those cuffs. You remember old me? It's pretty old now. So don't blame me if you don't. It's also not very good meme, I know. But I'm also not a connoisseur of memes, so really. Do I have a place to stand in this sort of discussion? Not really. Oh my word. I can't even dash in the correct direction anymore. What if I use the, the touchpad instead? That's significantly worse. It sort of feels like playing a fighting game. You know, like I'm doing like a specific set of inputs, like a, you know, like a, a dragon punch or a quarter circle forward or something. To really get it done. Oh my word. Oh my word, I, I don't even know what happened there. So if I just do bunny hop, bunny hop, tiny hop into the dash, tiny hop into the dash, slightly bigger than that, <laughs> I can't even dash in the right direction anymore, I'm broken, I'm a, I'm a broken record, I'm a black widow baby, so you just sing, just sing, just sing and take your mind off of everything, sing out a joyful song. <laughs> Not really what I expected to sing out, like these old assembly primary school sort of hymns. You know, not not really what would come to mind, you know, when it's popular with you. If you kind of go with uh, old pop songs, you know, like, I don't know, 21 Pilots? Are they popular? Maroon 5? Um, what? I don't know if Maroon 5 still a thing. It's, more, it's kind of gone on for a certain, hasn't he? How about, uh, <laughs> I was going to say Paramore. That's obviously not very popular nowadays anymore. I don't know if Paramore's still making music, you know? She made, like... Or oh, I say they made Misery Business. I mean, I don't know any other songs that Paramore made. It's a misery business of misery. Let's take a bomb at top. She got a body like an hourglass, a sticking like a clock. Something, 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 something. Wow. It feels so good. What about Hilary Duff? So yesterday, you remember? So yesterday, so yesterday. I'm just a bird that's already flown away. Laugh it off. Da 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 da. Come tomorrow, it will feel so yesterday. I can't do this. Not right now, at least. No, I can. I must. Determination, you must stay determined. To quote the famous words of Asgore and the. Sorry, spoilers in Undertale. If you haven't played it by this point, please go play it. It's a fantastic game. Probably my favourite game of all time. Um, but it's difficult, okay? You know? And sometimes it's okay to say that, you know? You're going to find there's a lot of difficulty in life and strife and trouble. Nothing wrong with admitting how difficult something is, eh? <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. Alright. Oh, that was so close. I don't need to grab until the very end, so, you know, just hand completely off the trigger. Because that kind of messed me up there. When I ended up grabbing onto early and kind of overriding my wall kick. Both simultaneously jumping to kick off a wall and grabbing onto it at the same time. So playing buckaroo, but vertically, I guess. <laughs> I don't really, that's a weird visual. It would it'd be nice if I stopped dashing in the wrong direction. It's just not natural for me to think to di diagonally dash down into the ground. That's it. Messes me up quite a lot. 
That felt good. Come on, that felt like a good one. It's so close. It's so close. It's on the tip of my tongue. That was so close. So close. All of them so close. But alas, so close only counts as ho in horseshoes, as the old saying goes. Which is just a weird thing, because I feel, you know, I feel like close counts as a lot of different other sports as well. Archery, you get close to the bullseye, and I, mean, I know, I mean, maybe you're not be competing at Olympic level, but, you know, getting a 9 or 8 still pretty good, all things considered. Even the best archers don't get 10 out of 10s all the time. They get it a lot, mind you, but not all the time. No. I'm going to lose my mind over this. This is so difficult. <laughs> this is so insanely difficult. Probably one of the, the hardest mechanics. Okay, maybe this is the sort of thing where, you know, I'll, I'll come back to it and I'll just like knock it out within like the first five minutes. You know, I, I've been Celeste fatigued for too long. So I think I'll round this episode off here because, you know, it's pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie. But hopefully next time we can knock this out of the park, or at least, you know, to the outfield. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Celeste. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord, and follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we can see each other again. But by now, it's time farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.